Hi everyone. I told my nephew, he asked me to do a video, so I told him I would do a video. I asked him what did he want me to um, talk about, and he told me he wanted to talk about mental illness and what happens to people's emotions when what happens to people's emotions when it's around the holidays? Because he has bipolar. <clears throat> and uh, he was in group therapy today. And he said my videos help him. And he was wondering if I was going to make another one. And he asked me. He told me that they helped him. There's one particular video that he listens to every day. But mental illness, loneliness around the holidays. How do you get through it? It's tough, I would say. You got to be grounded in the Lord, in his word. That's where you get your strength from. Remember, not to be stressed out shopping for family and loved ones. Just pretend that you're just doing it for the Lord Jesus Christ. And then go with the flow. Don't put a lot of emphasis on shopping. Remember the reason for the season. People that believe in Christ Jesus like him. Don't think about how stressful it is when you're buying presents for people. Just think about the joy of the birth of Jesus Christ in his resurrection and his love for all of us, his creation for us. And pray about your mental illness if you have mental illness. Ask God um, to bless your brain to bless your thought patterns, to bless you entirely, to give you um, good moods instead of being in the dumps mentally, put you in the right mind frame. Tell that devil get behind you. Tell him he has no part of your life. And count your blessings. And <clears throat> when you go through the season of giving and loving on one another. Remember, it's really not about us, but it is about Jesus Christ, and it is about each other when we think about it. So <clears throat> take your thoughts somewheres else. It's good to give. Now, Michael is a giver. He told me several times that he bought me and David a present, and I told him, he didn't have to, but he feels blessed to do it. So why block his blessings? If this is going to make him feel better, so be it. So yeah, mental Ill illness is a disease like heart disease, rheumatoid, thyroid, every other physical ailment disease. Mental illness also is a disease and people suffer around the holidays because they feel pressured inside their emotions. They don't want to buy the wrong present for one or many. They want to give out of their heart, but they want to be accepted for their giving. And they want to feel comfortable that you're buying them the right gift. So I can imagine it's stressful. So, Mikey, this one is for you, darling. Just relax. Don't think. Just go with the flow. Don't psychoanalyze anything. Do what you can do and leave the rest to God, okay? Aunt Kimmy Light loves you. I'm uh, going to relax for the rest of my evening. And tomorrow I'm taking the day off. But I might work on Wednesday. So, 
this video is for whoever else that might want to watch it. Don't put a lot of emphasis on the season of giving. Don't let it stress you out. Do what you can. Leave the rest to the good Lord. Don't go broke trying to please others. Think smart. Shop smart. And have a good time. And in my case, I lost my son, so I'm still trying to be rejoiceful, happy, and in the spirit. Is it hard? Absolutely. But once I come up out of my own mindset and I start being grateful for my life, my daughter's life, my husband's life, my family and friends, that puts me in a better mindset. So we have to choose to come up out of our, our uh, what do I want to say? We have to choose if we want to conquer depression around the holidays. Choose to come up out of thyself and think about others. There are people in worse situations than we are. There's many people in this world suffering. Many people going without the necessities of life, let alone a Christmas present. So lift people up, have a giving spirit, but don't put pressure on yourself and do something nice for the less fortunate. Loved you all. You guys take care. Remember the season and the reason for the season. And just be loving, kind, and grateful. Okay. I am going to relax now. My husband's out there with my brother-in-law. And he is watching Miami. Miami Dolphins. Oh. Okay. So. Remember the reason for the season. And be happy. Be grateful. Be loving, kind, and patient with one another, okay? <laughs>